I'm going to play solitaire using Hong Kong Mahjong rules just to practice decision making. If you want to see what it's like to play the game, stick around. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, that way you won't miss anything. So I'm going to say we're going to play with a two fawn minimum. A fawn is like a point. So we've got to come up with at least two fawn in order to qualify to win. Let's see how it goes. So I have my tiles out and they've been mixed. They're over here to the left of these platforms. I'm going to take 14 tiles for east and then 13 for south, west, and north. Okay, everybody has the right number of tiles. East has one extra because they start the game by discarding. If you want to know more about this game, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. So let's see what we can do for East. They have a four flower and a one flower. The one flower is their seat. so. East is one, south is two, west is three, and north is four. So they'll get score for that. So I'm going to put their exposures out here to the far right. And we're going to get two replacement tiles for those flowers from the back of the wall. We got another flower. It's a two flower. So they're not going to get score for that. All right, so let's see what we can do here. All right, so we have some isolated tiles right here, the one, six, one, but we do have a potential chow, which is a three in a sequence. Then we have a nice group of bams with chow potential. We could do a one, two, three, here's a four, five, six, or we could do a chow here and use this as a pair, and then this could be a pung three of a kind. Even though that's north, which is seat four, that's not going to bring a score in and of itself, but it'll help us get to a half flush, which is honors or wins and dragons with one suit. So I think I would try for a half flush and see what happens. I would hold these for as long as possible in case Charles comes in and then sacrifice those because we have one point already. We only need one more. So let's see what we can do for South. They have their own flower. Oh, there's another one, but that's not theirs. That's a three flower. Ooh, they have a pair of West. That's not their seat, but just like North over here for this player, this can help them maybe get to a half flush. Let's see if they have any suit that has a decent number of tiles. They're kind of, you know, in between. Really cracks they have the most of. They have chow potential there, there, and here. So probably, or here, either here or here. So I think they may have chow potential and they could use this for their pair. You can have a pair of anything. So I think I would try for all chow, which is one fawn and then their own flower. So that would be two fawns. So they would meet the minimum right now. Well, they have to win, of course. All right, let's see what we can do for West. I think I would try for a half flush for West with dots, dots, and they even have a really nice run here. This is isolated, but they have five, six, seven, or seven, eight, nine pair. 
they've got a little bit of of a run here so we'll see let's see what north has okay north has their own flower oh and they have no flowers that's a point for now until they draw their own flower so we'll get that replacement east west red they have five cracks one dot okay I think I would try for all chow here too there's a chow right there potential chow potential chow potential chow there's a chow actually right there too but if you split it off we can have two potential chows one two three four and then all they need is a pair somewhere so they're really blocked out well that's good shape for north north and i think north and west are probably in the best shape at the moment maybe maybe east okay so i'm gonna use i'm gonna use this to help me keep track of whose turn it is so we're gonna discard for east and we're trying for a half flush here so i'm going to go ahead and discard a one dot i think i'm going to move everything over here okay we're going to draw for south red dragon okay if we're going to try for maybe a half flush with cracks or we could even try for honors and terminals look at all the terminals that we have here there's a hand called 13 orphans it's one of each of the winds and dragons one of each of the ones and nines and any tile paired Let's keep cracks and go ahead and discard the three bam. Okay, we're going to draw for west. Nine dot. Oh, that's nice. We're going to try for a half flush with dots. So let's get rid of the seven bam. And we'll draw for north. Oh, north. That could help them get to a half flush. Not as a single tile, though. We need to pair those up. Let's discard the four dot. And draw for east. We got a six dot. We're really looking for bams here. Let's discard the eight dot. And draw for south now chows you can only take from the player on your left and if we were at a four player table they would be able to take a chow from south not from east east would be across from west so they can't take that eight dot so we're going to draw for south red dragon okay that is nice i think that's probably heading more towards one suit with honors Let's get rid of the three dot for south and draw for west. Eight crack. That's not helpful. Chow, potential chow, potential chow. Let's see here. They have no flowers right now. That, that is a point for them. We do have a pair here six seven eight potential chow one two three four five they're really blocked out well so I, I think we could maybe go ahead and play all chow let's discard the south and draw for north eight bam yeah we kind of now we're in between we have five bams and five cracks there are no exposures out right now, 
So no, nobody has really revealed what they're playing. There are no, nobody has claimed a discard yet. So it's a little challenging to figure out what is the best way to go. We do have some chow potential here. Here, there's a chow. Maybe we should go ahead and switch them to all chow. They do have their own flower. Let's go ahead and keep north. And the red, any pung of dragons can bring score. Let's go ahead and, and discard the west. And I think I forgot to mention, east is the wind of the round. For this solitaire game so let's draw for east now nobody can take that west oh north so they have a pung right here three of a kind let's discard the six dot and we'll draw for south eight dot yeah that's not good i think they have mostly cracks let's discard the eight dot it's already been discarded and we'll draw four west. One bam, that's a discard. Drawing four north. Nobody can take that one bam, so we're gonna draw. Four crack, that's nice. So here we have a chow, there's a chow, potential chow, potential chow, and then we could of course have a pair. Let's discard the east. And we'll draw four east because nobody can take an east. Three bam, that's a keeper. Let's go ahead and discard the one crack. So we're heading into a, a nice half flush here. Chow, chow, pung. We need to pair these up. Or we could pung here, chow here. One, two, three, four, five. These are discards, so it's coming together for this player. Here we go. One dot. Oh, that 13 orphans is coming in here. One and nine of each suit. We need a nine crack. Red, white, and green dragon. Here's Wes. Let's get rid of the seven dot. That's not helpful at all. Seven dot, and now we're gonna draw for this player. If they're playing a half flush or all chow, we could probably take that seven dot for a chow right here. Five, six, seven, let's chow. Five, six, seven. And we'll just play all chow. We can chow, 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 chow. This is isolated. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and discard the green dragon for west. And we'll draw for north six crack okay so here we have seven eight nine four six two three then we have oh here's a three four five so we have one two three four all we need is a pair this isn't a side weight we can get a one crack or a, three, a four crack there this is a closed weight we need the middle tile and there's a chow, chow. So let's leave ourselves a little bit of leeway and go ahead and discard the north. And draw for east. Now east could really take that north for a Kong, but there's really no benefit for in solitaire. Sometimes if you play with a group, of friends, you might give a special bonus for any Kong, like in my group. We, we played it where any, any Kong, you earn a quarter from every player for any Kong. So we're, we're not gonna Kong that. It does reveal information to the table, so I'm just gonna keep it concealed. Six crack. We need BAMs. I think we should go for BAMs. Let's discard the five crack and draw for this player. I'm trying to get them to an honor hand, 13 orphans. Or if we pair up, we can pung. Let's draw seven bam. 
we've got cracks here. Let's keep the cracks and discard the seven bam. And nobody can take a seven bam, so we're gonna draw four west. Nine crack, okay, pair. We've got a chow out, there's a chow, here's a chow. We can throw the one dot and they're ready to win on either a three crack or a six crack. That's a really strong weight because it's one of two tiles. So they're ready to win within five discards. That's pretty good. Let's draw for north. Two crack. We're gonna get rid of this red dragon. It's a valuable tile. Get rid of it early if you're not gonna use it. So there's a chow, four, six. Here's a pair. You gotta have a pair so we can chow in there somewhere. This probably can be discarded, that's, that's isolated. Here's a chow right here. So we have a pair and one, two, three chows. So there's a little work to do up here. We could break this apart and do two chows here. So let's go ahead and draw four, let's see, three, six, one, two, three, twelve. Okay, so we're gonna draw four east. White dragon. That could bring score. Let's hold it. Let's get rid of the six crack. And draw four south. Now we have really about a full wall and the discards are showing a bit of info. So you can tell from the discards that east is in BAMs probably, south is probably in honors or maybe cracks, and then based on discards, player west is doing mixed suit, and for north it's not real clear. They could be in BAMs or cracks just based on discards. We're going to draw for player two, which is south. 8 bam that's a discard for them we want either honors or crack or cracks for them so 8 bam nobody can take an 8 bam we're going to draw for west 2 dot that's not helpful they're ready on a 3 crack or a 6 crack we're going to draw for north 5 crack okay so that's helpful right right there we have a chow here's a chow Okay, here's an isolated tile there. There's a pair. We have two potential chows here. So we have one, two, three, four, and a pair. So we could probably go ahead and get rid of this eight bam. So they are one away from being ready. They just need to fill in one of these chows to get ready. So that was an eight bam. Nobody can take an eight bam, so we're gonna draw for east. Seven bam is a keeper and we can get rid of the seven crack. And they're cleared now to one suit with honors. So these dragons here are not gonna do any, any, they're not gonna offer any help until they pair up. But we do have a potential chow here, or we could use this as a pair. Here's a chow, or here's a chow. We could maybe, there, that's better. Chow, chow, potential chow, pung, so that's one, two, three, four. All we need is a pair. Let's go ahead and draw four south. Eight bam. Drawing four west. White dragon, discard. We're trying, we're, they're ready to win on a three crack or a six crack. Green dragon, we'll discard that. Drawing for east, south. South has been discarded. Let's go ahead and throw it. And we'll draw for south flower. So that's going to go to their right and we'll get a replacement. Two dot, that, that's a discard for south. And we can draw for west. 
flower. They got their own flower. That's a three. That's nice because they had no flowers up to now. They just drew a flower and it's theirs. So they didn't lose any score from that. That was pretty nice. Oh, they got a two dot. That's a discard. Let's draw for north. Green dragon. Shoot. We discarded a green dragon. We're going to draw for east. South. We just discarded a south. That would have been a good pair. Okay, we're gonna draw four south to crack. Okay, so at this point, let's just see. We have potential chow in both of these. Pung pung potential there. So that'd be one, two, three, four. I think we should probably go ahead and give up on 13 orphans. Two green dragons are out. Three green dragons are out and two souths, a north. Let's go ahead and discard the one dot and uh, give up on 13 orphans for south. So we're going to have them play a half flush with cracks. Let's draw four west. Eight crack. Okay, we'll keep... Oh, you know what? They're ready to win. We don't want to mess that up. They're ready to go. We need a three crack or a six crack to win. Let's throw that eight crack. And we'll draw four north. Five dot is a good discard. And we'll draw four east, south. <laughs> they got three souths, oh my gosh. Okay, drawing four south, four crack. Okay, that's a good keeper right there. We've got discards to get rid of here, nine dot. So let's just check out the, the chow potential. Those are gonna be discards, so we have a single white, which will probably go away. Here's a pair that can become a pung if someone discards a red dragon. We have a pair of west that can become a pung. Potential chow there, there's a pair or a potential pung. And then of course we have a potential chow here. So their shape has improved. Let's draw for west, two bam. And we'll draw for north. Now north, they can chow for that two bam. So they have their own flower, a two bam. We'll discard the three crack and they're ready to win on a three bam or a six bam. Three crack was discarded and that's Mahjong for West. So I'll bring over their chow and their flower because they're going to get score from that flower right there. So they have a three flower and they have all chows. Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, and a pair of nines. One, two, three, four sets and a pair. All chow is one fawn and their own flower is a fawn. So they have two fawn, which meets the minimum. So West won. And that was a relatively short game. Let me know what you think about that game. That was pretty quick. Even though everybody started off in kind of Mm, not such good shape, but it, it um, the picking went well, I think, for several of those players. So, Chows, everybody was playing Chows. There was, um, let me see here, one half flush, two half flushes, which, you know, that's my favorite. Half flush, I think, is pretty easy if you have the right tiles, of course. And it's um, a three fawn hand. So anyway, in this case, two fawn, it met the minimum, so why not? Move on to the next hand and try for a higher score next time. Any win is a good win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos and that way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an inside of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.